loves and welcome back to another video y'all so basically in today's video we got a few runs um i want to go back to the at home store i think i want to take that chair back it just do not look right with the porch um i know the white will brighten it up but i don't like it on the porch for some reason i don't know what it is but i think i'm gonna just keep one of my black chairs because y'all know i don't need the other one so we're making some runs and we just getting ready for the fall y'all um, i'm not sure what else i want to do um, I might go on like a little solo day and I want to probably go to a beauty store too as well But um, I do want to start preparing the house for fall. So welcome back to a new vlog I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. Let's go ahead and get started. So guys, this is the outfit that I have on for today I just have on this um, Little white crop top and then I have on some little blue jeans with my little Hermes slides And then I think what I'm gonna do with this outfit is probably wear my little Teddy Blake And for my purse, I'm gonna probably go ahead and wear my little Teddy Blake bag um, and then I have on my little cute little um, black and gold belt in my little jeans and my little Hermes. So yeah, this is the outfit for today. Bag Teddy Blake. Now let's head to the car. I'm in the car and I did go ahead and make some um, iced coffee, which I make all the time. So basically, so I know I was really excited about the chair, like I said. Um, but I did put it on the front porch, and like I said before, I just did not like how it was like looking. For some reason, when I put it on there, it just it really didn't like go with my house. And I just feel like the black one just goes better. And I'm just like, you know what? Let me just take the chair back because it was like sixty dollars, and it is about to be off season. Um, and let me just go ahead and use my black chair, and then just pop a little color on my black. I mean, it just makes sense to me. Plus, like I said before, I just feel like my black, um, my black just goes better. Now, I know the porch is black, so it's like a lot of black, but, um, the porch can still be brightened up. And then as far as the chair, I can put little pillows in the chair for it to actually, you know, bring brighter colors to the space or whatever. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this chair back. I'm definitely taking it back. It's definitely already in the back. <laughs> Y'all can probably see it it's back there <laughs> i already packed it up earlier because i was like nah let me just and then like for some reason the white is just too bright for me right now um even in the summertime i still feel like i like the black better um it just looked better with my house um and then like y'all know like my house is it has like the red brick and the white just was not hitting like that when up up against that red brick. It just it just didn't go right with me. Um, the black just makes sense to me. If it ain't black, I don't want it. Okay, <laughs> but um, like I said, I tried it. Um, but I am taking the chair back today, and we just gonna pop our decor because we're gonna pop enough bright colors on there, um, creams, etc. So it's gonna work out for the good. Um, Y'all know I always come through, but. So I think the first thing I want to do is probably go to the at-home store and then make some runs out there um, while I'm there. And then we just gonna take it from there. Also, the accessories I have on is just my little New York Jones watch um, and my little bracelet right here as well. So those are my accessories. And these are the glasses that um, I'll be wearing if I do decide to put some glasses on. So let's head out, guys. y'all so we are now in the car um i did go ahead and do my return to um the at home store so the white chair is gone like i said it was a great idea but once i put it on the porch it just did not it didn't flow <laughs> like that's all i can say is that it just did not flow sister so i am in the parking lot of nordstrom's i want to go in here because it's been a while since i've been in here 
I mean, I just want to see like what kind of like fall like stuff they got. Um, and if you don't know, Nordstrom's actually got fall decor too, and home decor and just like home stuff. So we about to go in here real quick, and then I might go to Alta Beauty, and then I want to get some food. So let's go.
so cute. We were supposed to be meeting each other here. It's like an old lady. She's really, really cute. But um, I don't know if she gonna come, but I'll see you guys in a minute. Uh-oh. Mm, 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 good. And the welcome back to a brand new day guys so in today's video i am going to go out and do like a solo lunch today and then i think i want to stop at a couple of stores also i am donating so i got some little stuff from last year from fall um like some coats and some purses so we will be donating at the goodwill today um i think that's it for now and i think i'm going to like start like that side door um by the garage but i'll show you guys what i'm wearing and then we're going to go ahead and get started okay guys so these are the vibes for today i just love this little outfit it kind of made me feel like a little teenager a little bit but i got this cute little like stripe um little like uh it's something like a crop top on and then i have like these little cute little um jeans uh, i got these from dang i forgot where i got these from but i ended up putting some holes at the bottom for like some little slits i thought that was cute with my hermes sandals with my regular necklace that i wear every day and then i end up um curling my hair we'll try to curl it um, so that's what it's looking like i'm gonna go ahead and do this purse right here just like simple but like cute you know end of the summer vibes because uh fall is coming but i'm definitely getting into wearing my jeans and stuff like this so let's head to the car okay guys so we are now in the car and um i am about to go ahead and head out the time right now is 3 24 um so basically i think i'm just probably going to go get some sushi and then probably come back to the house um but i do want to hit like a couple stores while i'm in the area and then also we have our stuff back here to donate to as well so we're going to go ahead and head out because y'all it's getting later and it's still some stuff i want to show y'all so let's head out y'all
the house and as you see it is gloomy and moody in here because it is about eight o'clock but i wanted to quickly show you guys what i ended up getting from home goods so let's get started so the first thing that i ended up getting from home goods is this cute little um max studio oversized fur throw i thought it was really cute i thought this would match my pumpkins and stuff but it is a little more red so i might return this this was actually 19.99 and it's really pretty though really big as you can see and just very just luxury but i was really hoping that this matched the pumpkins but unfortunately it doesn't so i'll be taking this back but i would love to find a throw that goes but like i said it's pretty pretty red um but like i said it's a lot more red on camera but it's actually not that red it's more like maroon color so yeah this was the first thing i got so next guys the next thing i end up getting are some organizing bins now i was debating whether or not if i wanted to get some from amazon or like one of the stores but when i was at home goods it was just convenient it was right there and i was able to see and feel everything that i was purchasing before i actually bought it so these are the bins that i end up getting so i actually have a few bins um this is the brand it's the bino brand bino bino um this is the brand right here and these are um some containers that are basically held in home goods um i got these because they had the produce um little thing where you can like close and then open it for the produce so i ended up getting two of these these were actually 4.99 and I actually think there was a really good price for the quality. And like I said, this is a really good brand that is held in Home Goods too as well. So I ended up getting, I think, two of these. Yeah, so. So I ended up getting two of these from Home Goods. And I'm pretty sure I probably want to put like my strawberries and some berries in here. And then next i end up getting some bigger ones so these are the bigger ones that i have right here these were actually 9.99 okay and these are actually good for produce and fruit too as well and i love that it have the vent as well and it has the air vent and then it is the um medium size so that one so like my other one is probably the small this is the medium and i do want to put like some vegetables and like maybe um some lettuce and stuff in here and kind of like be able to open and close it depending on what I actually have in these containers so I love that it's getting dark y'all <laughs> but yeah so I end up getting two of these okay and then next what I have is I have these two containers right here which are by the same brand um this is how they look in the inside okay and it just has like a little acrylic little thing right here and these were actually $3.99. And I ended up getting two of these because I was like, I could put anything in here, um, some little extra food or whatever, but I'm just glad that I ended up getting both of these because it's a match. And like I said, I could just put extra little stuff in there. So I'll have like my fruits and my vegetables in the other one. And then here I could probably put like, I don't know, just maybe some yogurts, you know, something that just looks really good and that I can have a few of in both containers. Last thing that I end up getting is this Nutra Bullet on the go. It's the portable blender. Um, I've seen these everywhere. These are pretty popular. They've been around for years, but they had like a little portable one. And I was like, let me try this out because I do want like a little small blender on the go. So this is how it looks. Okay, so this is how the blender looks. Like I said, it's on the go. So I'm very excited to use this to put like my fruit and stuff in and start making like smoothies and stuff because I do want to start doing like detox cleanses. And so yeah, this was only actually. $19.99 so I got it for a really good steal and like I said it is portable and it is on the go so I am very excited about that so that's everything I got from home cucumbers right here which I'll rinse these off I have some organic um, romaine so I like to use the romaine lettuce so I end up getting two heads to this some grapes I have some strawberries I have my spinach and then I have some berries I have some tomatoes avocados little small um little tomatoes that i'm going to use for my avocado toast i end up getting some maple bacon for my toast then i got some atlantic salmon then i got some atlantic salmon to cook croutons for salad hidden valley ranch some extra virgin olive oil for cooking i got some eggs starbucks coffee and new orange juice which i already filled it up is why some missing so right here at the top i just pretty much um have my smaller ones which 
this is the containers that i'll put my fruit in right here and then i can also put vegetables too as well and then it has a little basket right here that catches all the water well this catches the water and this like kind of drains the water through here um and then it also has the um little open and closed vent right here so you got the vent right there and then when you want to close it for like other stuff you can just close it like that so that's why i got 40s because i knew that i wanted some fruit and vegetables in here you know so i could start eating more fruits and vegetables <laughs> but um so i got two of those and right now i got this open we'll close but i think i'm going to open it because yeah but basically when you guys get these from home goods if you guys do decide to get these they'll tell you like they'll tell you if you need to open them or close them depending on what you actually put in here so because i'm going to be basically putting some fruits and vegetables in here i'll go ahead and you know probably open them up but yeah so i just put like these two up here and like i said it's only two up here but i can always put more if i decide to in the future because as you can see we got all this space on each shelf and then right here in this one i would like to go ahead and put my salads and stuff like that okay so it's just like the smaller one it's just bigger and it also has the vent too as well so i got these two right here and then i have these at the bottom like i said which i'll find something to put inside of these um ones down here not sure if it's gonna be like yogurt or like i said it could be pretty much anything I might put um, some um, other like fruits and vegetables down there. I'm not sure, but I do have two of those. But this is how everything is looking right now. Um, and then as you can see, we still have storage at the bottom here. And then we also have storage right here. Over here on the door, what I have is my little containers that I ended up getting from Walmart. And I just went ahead and just refilled everything. So that's my orange juice, my coffee, water, and my creamer. Okay.
These are my uh, grapes right here. And it says to leave them open as far as like the fruits and stuff. And then close like the um, produce and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up here. I'm pretty sure I want to slide it to the side a little bit. Now, like I said, um, in my opinion, this refrigerator is pretty wide. Um, I'm sure all other refrigerators are like the same, but, or, <laughs> never mind, I'll take that back. They're actually not, but mine is really wide. So I could definitely use about maybe two more over here, which will look really good. I'm um, not sure what kind of fruits I'll put. But I could put, you know, just like fruits that's like good for us. Um, like I said, I have my strawberries and my berries in here. Yeah. I was thinking if I wanted to put them this way, which this is kind of different though. That's kind of cute. I kind of like that. What we thinking? Okay guys, so next we have the greenery. So basically this is my spinach right here. I can use this for my salads as well and also i like to use this in the mornings for um my eggs and then right here what we have is basically my romaine lettuce i actually like the romaine lettuce better than the iceberg so i basically got two heads of this and i cut it up this is the organic kind I kind of like them long ways, not gonna lie. Looks kind of cute. Comment, let me know what you guys think. I think the long ways is actually better. And also I have this little bin right here, which I will put more stuff in here. Like I would love to see carrots or something in here, even though it's not like ideal for me, but I do want to start eating healthier. So I do have my cucumbers in here for now, which can stay open because they will not go bad. Um, but I do eventually probably want to get a container that they can actually sit in, but I'm gonna just sit those right there. And then next, my other container has some um, tomatoes and my avocado for in the morning. So I'm going to go ahead and put this next to it right there. And then I also have these little um, small tomatoes. I was wanting to actually put them inside of here, um, but I didn't know how they were going to look. So I can, I can see how they would look if I put them in here. I mean, I could put them in here like this. I don't know. I think I'll take them out. I can, you know what, I can put these on the door as a matter of fact. I definitely want some more fruits and vegetables in here though. I mean like some more vegetables. But I think what I'll do with these is I'll just put these on the door. Okay. And then lastly guys, what we have is my eggs. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and place my eggs like right here. Okay. So we got the eggs right there. Okay guys, and down here for this drawer, what I'm gonna do is I'll put some water bottles down here. So I did take my Kroger water bottles right here and I did take the label off just so they can be clear. And I think I want to place them in here just like this. Okay. And then I still have some more in the car. So I will um, put the rest of them in there. But for now, this is how it looked with these. I'm just over here taking out the other labels off of the bottles. Now, now I may not do it every single time, but I know right now I'm inspired to have these labels up here and my waters to be clear 
and they actually don't take long at all so that's really really good because if they took any longer <laughs> then I probably wouldn't even do it but they don't take long so I'm like hmm why not that way I'll just have my waters already cold for when I refill my container or just for like when guests want to have water okay We just already just have it on deck for them. 